Hey guys, welcome to uh, another tutorial on um, how to uh, bypass the release date on BF3, Battlefield 3. Um, you're just going to need two couple files, it's going to be on the description. Um, let's just get right to it. Um, so basically, um, just get the exe file from your folder from when you installed it or unpack the uh, unpack ISO version. And get the exe and put it to the side. Now, when you do this, open it, and you want this at the desktop. So, I mean, it's much easier to use on the desktop. Okay, so here's the release date check. So what you guys are going to do is go to the task manager, and look at the processes and try to find activator, temp activator. And now go to that process by um, right-clicking it, and it says go to process. Now here's all the temporary stuff in the background. What you want to do is... Um, copy all the files and re uh, make a folder in your desktop and paste all the stuff that's in this temporary drive the temporary folder and put it on the new uh, folder on your desktop copy it and paste it do not cut it once you've done that what you guys are going to do is edit a language DF, uh, DFA file and just do what I do here is online mode right here where you see this is going to change it to false <coughs> Now, uh, manual mode you want it on true, and where it says in the bottom RC mode, just change that to false, and just save it. And after you save it, you're gonna just close close this window and close the release date. Just pretty much close the release date and everything here. Okay, so now open the temporary uh, activation on a new folder. And it should pop up with an activation little content right here. As you see, there's a code right here. So now what you're going to do is um, the files I guys gave you, um, which is offline activator. I got to look forward to my files, but you need this online activator here. Okay, so I just extracted it to the desktop right now, and I'm going to open it now. Now what you're going to do is, once you open it, it's going to want you to save um, an activation file on wherever you want it to save it on. So save it um, in your game folder that you just made. <coughs> and just save it to BF3 or whatever. And then just go to next, and it'll save it. Now it's going to ask you for a license number. Now here's a website, it's called Secure ROM. And what you're gonna do and this will be all in the description and what you're gonna do is put the file that you just made and saved on the where the BF3 is and put it there. And I'm gonna give you the serial number, but um, it's here. And um, after you put the serial number and put the cap locks or whatever the hell that's the crap called. Once you go to next, it's gonna say um, it's gonna say successful activation, and then you're gonna go to next, and you're gonna save it. It's gonna you're gonna download the file and save it into your the same place that you put the activation file. I have it somewhere around here. I saved it already, it's just it's not working for now. Because I already downloaded it. Okay, so I'm putting my activation file back in here in the license. 
Now just click on the license on the offline, it'll say successful. Then just go to next, and then now go to the battlefield thing, and then it's going to say ask for the serial number. It's on the description that I just told you about. Just paste it back on here. Uh, I forgot it already, so I'm going to just repaste it here. Copy and paste it. Let's go to next and go from the license file that they just downloaded. Just go yes, replace it. And then um, it's going to ask you for that other file. And it just says activation failed. This is as far as I've gone through. I'm pretty sure there's another way to bypassing it offline. But as for now, no. But I bet uh, I believe that the crack might just come out the 25th so it's kind of no need of doing this five more days left thank you for uh, watching um, subscribe thanks for watching bye